Looks like I'm like skiing. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Amber, for those who don't know. And this channel is basically me chronicling my weight loss journey and what I'm eating and doing to get to that. So thank you for coming along with the ride. Today we have three more recipes. And then like kind of like I did in previous videos, I'll just do like a little chit chat. Since it's the end of January, I just want to give like some updates on you know, my weight loss, how much I've lost, if I lost anything at all. I have some before and after pictures that I'm excited to show. So yeah, we're gonna hop into the recipes and then later on, we'll get into all that other stuff. So stay tuned, hope you enjoy the recipes I show. Oh, I should probably give a quick disclaimer. Uh, one, I am doing intermittent fasting. That means I don't eat all day. Oh, well, I eat during a certain period of time, basically, for the most part, I don't eat all day though. I'm doing an extreme version of intermittent fasting called OMAD, which means I only eat one meal a day. This does not mean that I am like, you know, starving myself here. I'm making sure that this meal is a pretty big meal and is staying within the calorie range that is appropriate for my height and weight. So yeah, I just wanted to give that disclaimer just in case people are coming here thinking that these are low calorie recipes. They are not. They are very high calorie recipes because they're made for someone who's only eating one, one meal a day. I mean, you can split these recipes up into smaller portions. I eat enough portions for probably like three people, but you can split these up. I'm sorry, you hear my cat meow? Yeah. You can split these recipes up into like smaller portions and they would they would probably be like 500 calories, <laughs> which is pretty standard amount for people. But the amount I'm eating is about a 1500 calorie portion. So just wanna give that disclaimer and you know let people know that this is not your common weight loss food. This is this is advanced. <laughs> well, not advanced. This is this is different. This is different than your common low calorie weight loss food. This is this is intermittent fasting weight loss food. But yeah, we're gonna hop into the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the recipes, and then stay tuned, and we'll have a chit chat afterwards. Okay, starting our first is gonna be a recipe for a high protein pizza. And I'm going to link some websites below that have similar recipes since I don't really follow a recipe while I'm cooking. I kind of just eyeball everything. But for those who want to like recreate this, just look in the description. I'll have the recipe listed. And my camera was having some issues during this time. So sometimes the video will be a little out of focus. By the way, I highly suggest not doing this on the counter like I did. Just go ahead and do it on the aluminum foil or parchment paper that you're going to use to put it in the oven because it will stick and it will be hard to transfer.
I'm just measuring out about two servings of cheese. You'll see me do this more often in my videos and I'll talk about it a little bit later, but I just wanna make sure that I'm keeping within my calorie range. Here I'm just sprinkling a little bit of oregano and red pepper flakes on top for a little extra flavor. These Tyson chicken nuggets were okay. I would say for the price and flavor, I didn't really like them. I would rather just do like the Purdue lightly breaded chicken chunks. Those taste way better. They're lower in calories and I feel like they're more fulfilling than these were. Here's the finished product after it's cooked. I served it with salad and then those nuggets you just saw. Next up is chicken parmesan. And this is a little different than normal chicken parmesan. It's a little bit more healthier because instead of frying the chicken, I'll be baking it. Here I'm just adding all my seasonings into the breadcrumbs. Here I'm just adding the salt into the pasta water. I don't even know why I included this because you won't even see me make the pasta. It will just be only this clip and then it's done. And then I just seasoned the chicken with salt and pepper. I put a lot of seasonings in the breadcrumbs. So I didn't want to accidentally make something too salty. So that's why I just went ahead and just only did salt and pepper for the chicken. <music> I'm only putting breading on top of the chicken instead of the bottom as well because the bottom is just going to get soggy and then it's going to fall off the chicken anyway so why waste those delicious breadcrumbs? Might as well just put them all on the top, let them get toasty so that I can still have them at the end. I wanted some greens in here, so I went ahead and added this spinach that I had. I just popped it in a bowl, rinsed it off, um, added some water and microwaved it a little bit to get it wilted. And then I just put that in the same pot as the sauce so it can all simmer together. Sorry, my camera was still having issues at this point, so it's super blurry. But here I'm just checking the temperature of the chicken to make sure it's cooked. And I'm just adding the cheese on top and then putting it back for broil for about five minutes or so until the cheese is nice and brown.
longhorn and you've had the parmesan crusted chicken this is basically that but instead of chicken it's steak Looking back at this, I was stabbing these potatoes erratically. Please don't be like me. Be safer when you're stabbing these potatoes. Don't just stab them with a knife when your hand is so close. These steaks were super big, so I'm just weighing these out to see like how many ounces they are so I know how long to cook them for. I think they were about 24 ounces each. I think one got up to like 28 ounces. I mean, these are really huge. And because they were so huge, I did beat them a little with a mallet to make sure that they were more tender and then I just sprinkled them here with McCormick Montreal steak seasoning on both sides. Parmesan cheese crust that's going to go on top of the steak. I'm just showing you the ingredients and at first I only mix all the cheese together because my fiance doesn't like ranch but after I put his topping on then I added about a tablespoon of ranch to mine to make it creamy and then I added that on top of mine. I'm going back to the table and only saving a set for the stable friend of mine because they know all this time that I was out of my mind thinking you were the one that Give a like, give a comment, all that stuff. So into the chit chat. 
you know. I'm behind here because I wanted to practice putting in pictures and stuff so that you can like see my before and after. So the big question is, in the January, did I lose weight? Before I get to that, we're gonna show my before and after. We're gonna see how I looked. I mean, it's not like a huge change or anything like that, but it is a change, which I was really excited for because it's always nice to see change in your body. I'm gonna put it right here. Maybe I'll just flash it real quick. I don't know, either here or flash it. But yeah, I would say that's a pretty big difference between the beginning of January and the end of January. My stomach's slimmer. You can, you see a little back meat there, but it's, it's going down a little, you know, a little, when your bra's a little tight. Well, I always have that back meat. I've always, that's just how my bone structure is. Even when I was like really small, I've always had that back meat. Yeah, that's going down a little. My boobs, the space between my boobs <laughs> and my stomach have shrunk. So I thought that was really cool to like see that. And only for like three days. Now, how much weight did I lose? In the beginning of the month, I started off at about 221. And I'm pulling that number from December because like the first couple weeks of January, I didn't weigh myself because I was sick and whatnot. But I just started off around 221. And how much weight did I lose? Zero, I lost nothing. I am the same weight as how I started in the beginning of January. So, <laughs> I mean, clearly from the pictures, we'll flash them again, you can see a difference. I am losing something, but the scale's not going down. But I just wanted to showcase that like, you know, the weight's not, your weight is not like your, the master unit of measurement basically. like. From the before and after pictures, I am losing weight. I'm losing something. Something's going down. I'm less bloated. I'm tinying up. My pants are fitting better. I'm losing something, but the scale isn't showing up. So that could be due to a number of reasons. Like maybe my muscle is replacing the fat. I have been walking a lot. And like I said in my previous video, I'm doing the hot girl workout, which even though I'm walking, that's I set an incline so that's building up muscles, especially in my legs, which explains why my pants are feeling better because my legs are getting all toned. <laughs> but yeah, I'm building up muscle in my legs. Uh, so even though I'm losing fat, if I'm building muscle, it's gonna be kind of like a one-to-one -one replacement there and it's not gonna show on the scale. But I'm gonna be able to see it and everything, which I do, I do see a difference. It's just not showing on the scale. Another thing is, I know when you start exercising again, I read somewhere that because something about your blood like increases because it's like, oh snap, they're, they're exercising. They need, they need more, more blood flow going there. So like it increases, so that can show on the scale as you're not losing weight. And that can last from like six weeks to three months. And then one day you just notice a big change in your weight and it's like, cause your body's like, okay, well this whole exercise regimen is gonna keep up. We don't need to panic as much anymore. So whoosh, that weight goes down. Bodies are so weird, aren't they? Like, and little things like that. And bodies are so interesting cause like little things like that can like change your weight. I'm not torn up about not losing weight, but I am happy. This is why I took those progress pictures. This is why you should take project progress pictures because like I said, the scale might not show it, but something's showing it. If you don't want to take progress pictures, I know people are a little weird about taking progress pictures. Take, you know, measurements. Like get yourself a tape measure, wrap that around your waist and thighs and arms and stuff, and use that as a unit of measurement. It doesn't have to be a uh, progress picture. It doesn't have to be a scale. Another thing that I see people do all the time is, you know, a pair of shorts that they used to fit into, but they don't anymore. You know, they pop those bad boys on, take a picture, or they just pop them bad boys on. No, I have to take a picture. They pop those bad boys on every month or so. They see if they fit into it yet. So, I mean, there are different ways to measure your weight loss journey, but you know, it is a journey. It's not a rush. I'm not upset that I didn't lose any weight. I'm kind of happy that at least I'm at the same weight <laughs> um, because then I know I'm not doing anything wrong. So, but there are going to be some changes. For February, now that we're going into a new month, I'm reevaluating some things I'm doing, so I want to make some changes. One thing I want to do is I want to start measuring my food again. I know that when I was measuring my food before, I was more consistent with my calories. 
I want to make sure that I'm staying within that 1500 to 1600 range and not accidentally going over. You've seen this a few times in this video. You'll see me weighing my food a few times, especially with like meat and stuff. Usually like vegetables, I don't care how much they are. Vegetables are so low in calories. I just count them as it. There's no reason to measure vegetables, at least for me. There's no reason to measure vegetables for me. But things like meat, starches and stuff like that, I'm trying to measure them more so I can be more accurate with my calorie counting and that will help me be more accurate with weight loss in general. Another thing I'm doing is uh, last month, I did a one week challenge for myself where I exercised every single day that week because I wanted to fill all the rings on my Apple Watch. And I managed to do that, so I'm happy about that. But this month, I actually want to go a full month of filling all three rings on my Apple Watch. Uh, so that's 35 minutes of exercise, 400 calories burned, and eight stand minutes or whatever that Apple Watch has. If you have a watch, and you probably know what I'm talking about. But my Apple Watch does calories that you burned, exercise minutes, and stand time. I want to fill all three of those rings for the entire month of February. And you might be like, why is she choosing February? Because February is the shortest month. So I am positive <laughs> that I can complete this month when there's it's several days shorter than every other month. So that's what I'm going for this month. I'm really hoping I can do it. Well, I'm not hoping, I know I can do it. Another thing is an update on last month. As you guys know, I was doing a little calendar thing where I wanted to make sure I was walking three miles, three times a week and that would have been 12 times in a month. I did it 11 times in a month. There was one week that I was not able to do it all the way through. But 11 out of 12, I think that's pretty good. So, I mean, small steps here. That's, that was pretty, that was more than I was moving before, before I wasn't moving at all. So, 11 out of 12, great. We're gonna, we're gonna keep that same energy, transfer it over and do 28 out of 28. At least, is there 28 days in February? I think there's 28 days in February. Yeah, we'll do 28 days. <laughs> we'll say 28 days later on in the line. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself somewhere. Let's see, what else am I doing for the month of February? Oh, I did finally buy a ring light and I finally got those plates in bowl that I was looking for. I want another plate, but I'm happy with my purchases for now. So now these videos for February, I'm gonna, you know, revamp my editing style. I'm more confident on the camera. So like, I think these videos are you know, gonna get a lot better. And I'm excited for that. I'm excited to see myself grow. For the old videos, a lot of them are pretty are pretty bad. I mean I only have like six videos, but I don't like a lot <laughs> I don't like a lot of those videos. The higher viewed ones, I'm probably gonna keep on there. But as time goes on, I'm go probably going to make some of them private and then refilm them basically. Like I'll keep them for myself because it's like, oh, I, I did this, I, I made this video. But it's just like, oh God, like this is so bad. So I'm gonna, as I get better, I'll probably privatize the really bad ones. The one, well, at least what I consider bad. And then I'll refilm them later on in life. So yeah. But that won't be for months. I mean, it take, it's hard enough for me to release a video. I need to have videos in my channel. So as I release more and more videos, then later on those videos will probably be put on private. But for right now, they're fine. And the last thing, I did say I will update you guys on the eyelashes and they're still here. So they lasted, the box says they will last 10 days, but they only lasted I would say seven. There was one in the corner right here that kept falling off. And I, I think that's just the way I applied it. And also I sleep on that side. So like it was always just like touching that, that little corner one. So yeah, that one popped off and decided it didn't want to be a part of the family anymore. And that's fine because you couldn't tell. In fact, I reapplied these and that same one popped off. So I mean, <laughs> obviously an eyelash does not want to stay there. And that's perfectly fine because you can't really tell from looking at me, you know? So it's it's fine, I don't, I don't really care. I mean, it still looks great. So far, everyone who I've come across has been like, did you grow out your eyelashes or something? Like, it's just really easy to grow out your eyelashes. I'm like, no, no, I eyelash extensions, you know, I applied them myself, so I've been very happy about that. And I'm getting better at applying them. 
I mean, I've only done it one extra time, but the first time took me like an hour to do, and this time it only took about 15 minutes to do. And they're not as hard because I didn't put as much on and I didn't have a whole fiasco like last time. I think for the most part, that's pretty much it on my update. I know I talked a lot. I'm looking at this time and it's like nine minutes. That's a lot of talking, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to me, go ahead and subscribe. I, I'm gonna have a lot more videos. You're gonna see a lot more of my face. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me <laughs> and watching my recipes. And I will hopefully see you next week. We're just gonna see, I, I'll see you next video. We're just gonna say that. We're not gonna put that pressure on me to do every week video. We're just gonna say, see you next week. Oh, I'm sorry, see, <laughs> we're just gonna say, See you next video and whenever that releases when that releases so yeah you guys have a good one bye